Welcome to another session of Hexagon 20. Uh, I hope everyone is having a great time here. So uh, this topic is going to not be as the same as uh, similar to what you have been hearing throughout the day. Today we will be talking about some one of the external feature, if we call it that, something that we are really proud of, but it's not there yet. It's not not everyone knows everything about it. So today we'll be talking about the Hexnode MDM API. So uh, we thought uh, who would be the best person to talk about the API. We first thought okay the people who developed it we could talk to them. They would know much about the API and then we thought maybe someone who actually used the API. Someone who has uh, experience firsthand not developing the API but using it throughout their system. So uh, today I have with me Julian. Julian has been part of us for a long time now. He has been in our partner interviews and our web webinars and it's great to actually talk to Julian again. So uh, uh, Julian uh, is uh, a, a customer, a uh, partner of ours who has actually implemented the Hexnode MDM API in his business. So I'll just invite Julian to talk, tell us a bit about his company and himself. So uh, hey Julian, you there? Hi, hi Amit, how are you? Hey Julian, I'm doing great, how are you? Fine, thanks. That's a real pleasure to be there with you today. It's great to have you too. So uh, Julian, can you tell us a bit more about yourself and what you do? Of course, I know what you do. We've been talking to each other for a long time now. So can you tell the audience about a bit about what you do and what your company does? Yeah, so as Hamid said, I'm Julian. Uh, I'm 34, I'm a French guy. And I'm the co-founder and COO at uh, mobilecare.co and uh, I'm a former CIO. Um, we founded B2B two years ago with Sebastian. Um, Sebastian was one of my IT providers during 10 years approximately. So that's a long love story with, between us. Um, <laughs> and, and today uh, Mobilecare is a uh, web platform uh, willing to help companies to manage their mobile devices. So we are a software editor, we are indeed an XNode uh, reseller, and we provide a wide range of services to our customers, from uh, device deployment to uh, recycling, etc., etc. Awesome, awesome. So that's great to hear, uh, Julian. But uh, getting back to the topic, so uh, what uh, do you think? What uh, Before we actually go into the APIs, can we talk about uh, what an API is so that everyone is on the same page? Yeah, um, this this is a really great feature of Xnode. Um, an API is um, something, the tool that defines a, a common language between uh, two systems. But yes. bef before talking about API, um, I have a, uh, an interesting KPI to, to show you. Um, uh -huh. This is that 60% of people managing device mobile are not technical. Wow. Um, wow. That, that what mean, does that actually mean? Yeah, that, that means that they often can't manage to set up uh, or administer a new EM solution. So they tell us that uh, this uh, solution are too complicated. Um, they don't have the time to uh, learn uh, to take care of it. And even if it's uh, as simple at, uh, as Xnode MDM is. So um, yeah, they often ask, ask the IT department to take care of this uh, topic. So the result yeah. is um, their employees are less satisfied by, this, by their service and they lose their reactivity. So yeah. uh, moreover, yeah. uh, the ongoing health situation increases the remote work and the needs for uh -huh. companies to uh, equip uh, their employees with mobile devices like uh, phones or tablets. So uh -huh. um, department in charge of this um, world topic uh, mm -hmm. the mobility are under pressure and they can't afford to take the time to learn a new software, deploy applications, make a security yeah. uh, rules, etc. So we want yeah. to help them. Um, yes, of course. Yeah, so, so we decided... Yeah, sorry. 
Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, so we decided to abstract the uh, technical and complex side of uh, the MDM and only show mm -hmm. them the easy way to do. Um, uh -huh. because this is a really important uh, topic. The security and the mobile security is really important. Uh, so we had yeah. to find a solution to simplify the use of MDM solutions. Of course, and uh, that is a inter very interesting uh, statistic, uh, 60%. I mean, they, uh, we talk to our customers a lot and uh, most of our customers do tell us that, you know, most of the users are not as tech savvy as, you know, they would hope for, but that is really an interesting uh, percentage there. So uh, how, uh, you know, Kel, what is an API? Uh, how does an API come into all this? When you want to abstract this uh, technical side, you have to use something called an, an API. And API mm -hmm. uh, states for uh, Application Programming Interface. This is, uh -huh. like I said, a tool um, to define interactions between multiple softwares. In fact, yes. we all use uh, API-based system every day. Facebook is one, Twitter is one, Office 365 is one, Slack is one. Uh, we, we use a lot of tools uh, based on APIs. So uh, an API defines uh, actions and data you can call, you can get, you can send to another system. And uh, what is great with Xnode is that you have a well-documented API and you can find everything online. So Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, so you can use the API from the pro plan uh, and above, enterprise, etc. Um, uh -huh. And and yeah, just just a quick example um, with the Xnode API, uh, you can get device information. You can apply policies uh, to a, a a device or maybe multiple devices. You can you yeah. can deploy an application, etc., without having to connect to the uh, web interface. Um, oh, that's great. Yeah, maybe I can give you a, a real life example because uh, in my um, CIO life, <laughs> some years ago, I had uh -huh. the problem. Uh, imagine you have an employee uh, hi hired in your company. Uh, the HR mm -hmm. department asks the IT department to create his account and then to mm -hmm. give him a computer, uh, to give him a phone, maybe a tablet, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Yeah, you know, people who are in charge of that know how time consuming mm -hmm. is it, it is. Uh, yeah. I had yes. an entire team doing that every day. Um, and mm -hmm. what if while creating the, the employee's account, uh, you can automatically mm -hmm. push it to Xnode, adding it to the correct mm -hmm. groups. So when mm -hmm. he logged into his uh, phone with his account, mm -hmm. it will automatically mm -hmm. have uh, the correct policies, the good applications and security rules applied without having mm -hmm. someone to make some click on the web interface. So yeah, yeah the API uh, lets you do that. Amazing. So uh, you did uh, say, uh, yeah, we uh, what everyone would really be looking forward to is you did mention that you were going to show some real life examples. So I would also be really interested in knowing how and uh, how uh, Mobile Care has actually integrated Hexnode API. Yeah, sure. We, we are going to take a look at how we use Hexnode in the API in uh, Mobile Care, just uh, to uh -huh. um, uh, be, be clear, Mobile Care is a uh, Symfony-based project written in PHP, mm -hmm. and uh, we mm -hmm. use a component called HTTP Client, uh, which is mm -hmm. um, an, a curl uh, abstraction component. So this uh, lets us uh, send uh, API requests without having to handle the uh, complex uh, topics. Uh -huh. So um, how we can uh, talk with the Xnode MDM API. First, uh, we have to connect to our Xnode subscription. So mm -hmm. as we are a uh, SaaS platform, we have to uh, mm -hmm. handle multiple uh, subscriptions for our customers. So yeah. we define the tenant URL, and this is mm -hmm. uh, your subdomain.xnodemdm.com. Then Mm -hmm. We define the API key that you can find uh, in your admin panel. And then the mm -hmm. headers. Uh, this is 
basically how we are going to talk uh, together. Mobile care mm -hmm. on one side and Exnet MDM on the other side. Yeah. Once this is done, uh, we have to tell the system what we want to do. In this example, uh, we just want to locate the device. So mm -hmm. if we check the online documentation, uh, Exnet documentation, mm -hmm. We can see that yeah. uh, to launch a locate action on a device, we have to call an endpoint called scan underscore location. So if mm -hmm. we take a look uh, a bit deeper in the documentation, uh, we have to mm -hmm. tell Xnode which device we want to locate. This is the yeah. body part of our request. Mm -hmm. Just something interesting is that we can launch a locate action on multiple devices at once uh, by uh, just mm -hmm. Uh, putting multiple device IDs in the body. That's mm -hmm. really interesting because uh, we can have um, a locate action uh, launched on a group of devices, uh, maybe a key people or something like that. And once this is done, we uh, push the request to uh, the Xnode API and uh, Xnode is really uh, interesting because it replies <laughs> and it, it sends us a, a, re a response. So uh -huh. uh, the response is basically a JSON object uh, containing uh -huh. either the result, OK or mm -hmm. not OK for the action, mm -hmm. or maybe some yeah. data. Uh, what you can see on screen in the result is the result of the um, mm -hmm. retrieved device information. Um, mm -hmm. You can see all the device information, that is uh, policies, apps, locations. Uh, you, can, you can see everything, uh, including uh, every minor details. Mm -hmm. So um, once you have this uh, response, you have to handle the data. Uh, basically, this is what are you going to do uh, with what Xnode is uh, sending to you. So this is your business logic. Maybe you want to display yeah. data to users. Maybe you want to apply mm -hmm. some actions to your data, launch some um, mm -hmm. uh, business workflows. Uh, or mm -hmm. maybe when you have done all of that, you can just send another action to uh, Xnode. Maybe um, mm -hmm. if the device is out of a uh, location, location uh, you can send a wipe action. You can send something, something like that. Uh, though this this is really interesting. So yeah. just let, let's take a look at a real example. This is the mobile care uh, web interface. And as you can see in the device list, you have some device uh, which are um, paired to, M to an MDM, Xnode uh, in this mm -hmm. case. So yeah. uh, if we click on the MDM button, we can see we have some actions, locate, scan device, show device info, etc., etc. If we click on uh, locate, uh, what Mobile Care does, it, it sends the API call to Xnet saying, hey, Xnet, please locate this device. Yeah. Xnet will then send a response to Mobile Care saying, okay, I have taken the action. Uh, you have to wait the, for mm -hmm. the location to be updated. Mm -hmm. The, the response is basically a JSON object, as I said, and contains a HTTP code, a 200, that's a OK code. Uh, and if we have this code, we can show a validation uh, pop-up saying, oh, that's OK, the location has been updated. Um, now we can see a more complex result. Uh, when we call the retrieve device information uh, endpoint, we get a huge JSON result, um, and for the use in mobile care, we just extract some parts, uh, and we can display information to our user. So they see the OS, the serial number, OS version, policies, uh, is uh, location tracking activated, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. We can also, as you can see, show the device on a map because uh, Xnode returns us the uh, latitude and longitude. So we can uh, display a little map and uh, put a marker where the mobile is. Um, we yeah. have a lot of customers uh, really interesting in that feature because 
Um, they have a lot of devices across the country and they want to know uh, where their people are. Um, so yeah. yeah, this is basically how we can call XNode API, get results, uh, get data, display data in a system, or maybe make some actions. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, was actually great. Uh, the most, uh, you know, the interesting thing that uh, I found was that, uh, uh, of course, uh, your implementation part was, uh, uh, you know, very informative. I believe our viewers could take uh, a lot from that. But uh, more than that, uh, you know uh, about, uh, you know, have the hex node part too, how the documentation is worked, how even the pricing plan where, uh, you know, you can actually get the API. So I don't think even if someone from, you know, our end gets on, they would be able to say the same things that uh, you would be able to say. And you could add much more because you have real life experience using the Xnode API. So uh, thanks a lot, uh, Julian. Thanks a lot for joining us today. And thanks a lot for taking your time out uh, for uh, letting our users and our partners and partner invitees know that how important Hexnode API is and how they can use it in their uh, company. Yeah, thanks a lot. Um, that was a real pleasure to talk about this feature. Amazing. And uh, we'll be expecting you in many more sessions, many more webinars and uh, events as such. It was great talking to you, uh, Julian. Thank you very much.